Now, what is the difference between a wax and a cream polish? They're both polishes. You can use them both to shine your shoes. Uh, do you need to use both? Do you need to use just one? Which one do you use? Which order do you use them in? Uh, it can be a little overwhelming, uh, certainly to a beginner, and I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video. Now, the short answer, the difference between a wax versus a cream polish is, of course, cream polish that have a lower concentration of those hard waxes or a softer consistency, uh, and they do a better job of nourishing and hydrating the leather and also recoloring. Now, recoloring is very important whenever it comes to using a cream polish because it's the pigments in that cream polish that are going to kind of refinish the shoe conceal any scuffs or scratches, and really return the finish of the shoe back to its original state. Now, if you're someone that has a pair of brown shoes and are looking to antique them, again, it's that pigment that's gonna help you transform or evolve the color of that shoe in whichever direction you want. You only get that using cream polishes. But if you're someone that enjoys beautiful leather dress shoes, let's say a beautiful high shine, mirror shine on the toe, you don't wanna stop just at a cream polish. So let's take a look at the next two wax polishes that Saphir offers. The Pat Deluxe, it is one of the best wax polishes out there in the world. It's going to allow you to provide not only that high mirror shine, but also begin to protect the shoe with those hard waxes. Now the Pat Deluxe uh, is created from a 100% natural pine-based uh, turpentine. Because a wax polish has a higher concentration of those hard waxes like carnauba and montan wax, you need more solvents uh, in a Pat Deluxe or wax polish. So if you apply a little bit of Pat Deluxe uh, on your shoe, it's going to soften the previous coat of waxes uh, and can make it so that it, you kind of feel like you're spinning your wheels, if you will. Now, what's the difference between that and the mirror gloss? Well, Saphir Mirror Gloss is essentially a very similar formulation to the Pat Deluxe, still made with a 100% all-natural pine-based turpentine but it has a higher concentration of those hard waxes and a lower concentration of those solvents or the pine-based turpentine. What this does is allows you uh, to apply this and have it dry faster. It forms that foundation of hard waxes much more quickly, and then that allows you to produce that beautiful mirror shine uh, exponentially faster than just using the Pat Deluxe alone. Now, I think that it's really useful to use both of them together, uh, and we've got plenty of uh, tutorials about how to produce that mirror shine on this YouTube channel. That's uh, really outside the scope of this video, but I'd encourage you to take a look at them. Now, what separates a product like the Saphir uh, Pomadeer Cream Polish from that of, say, a standard cream polish that you're gonna find out on the streets? One of the things that I like to do to demonstrate this is to smear a little bit on a blank piece of paper and you can really see the Saphir uh, Pomadeur Cream Polish uh, go to work. So this is the Neutral Cream Polish. Now, what I wanna show you here is one of the most important characteristics of a good cream polish, and that is that it's able to actually penetrate the leather to provide hydration. If I smear this on a piece of clear paper, you can see how quickly it saturates that paper. What does that mean? It means that it's rich in turpentines and it's going to penetrate that leather to provide that hydration. Uh, and it does it very quickly and much more effectively than any of the other cream polishes out there and especially any type of water-based cream polish. Now let's take a look at the difference in pigment. Now again, the Pomadeur cream polish is available in over 12 different pigments, uh, so it's easy to find that perfect match. We've got a lot of videos on color matching also. But let me show you again the difference in saturation. So one of the other benefits of the Saphir Pomadeur Cream Polish is the concentration of those pigments and their transparency, which is actually a feature because a lot of the water-based cream polishes use a type of pigment that really doesn't offer much transparency, and so it can very dramatically change the color of a pair of shoes as opposed to kind of nudging and evolving it. And so I'm going to put that on here, and you can see just how good of a job uh, it does kind of resaturating the color here. Now, yes, I get it. You're gonna say, Kirby, this is a white piece of paper and not a pair of shoes, so this is a proxy, it's a demonstration. Uh, but the point remains that, again, you have a lot of color saturation here, and especially you'll see it once I use the wax polishes. So the Neutral Pat Deluxe, I've got our 50 ML 10 right here. Has that higher concentration of solvents. And I'm gonna just break through that surface a little bit. And again, you're seeing that great penetration of the paper or leather 
uh, that is helping nourish the leather. And then we're gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna show you just kind of how good the concentration of waxes is. Now let's apply a black Pat Deluxe. This is the 100 ml tin. Beautiful, beautiful new tin. You can see a little bit of sweating of those solvents in there. That's completely normal. Okay, do -do -do. we've got this here. Take a little bit on here. So here you can see in the middle, again, great job penetrating that leather, but look at how much more transparent this black wax polish is than the black cream polish. This goes back to what I spoke about earlier, that whenever it comes to recoloration, uh, adding pigment back into the shoe, that is what a cream polish does. Now we have, uh, of course, different colored wax polishes because they can tint. And whenever you're shining your shoes, the more pigment you put on top of that leather, the better that they're gonna look. But that said, the amount of pigment in a wax polish is marginal whenever compared to a cream polish. Whenever it comes to the uh, concentration of hard waxes, it is much more significant in a wax polish than it is a cream. Now, whenever it comes to the mirror gloss, uh, as I said earlier, it is a much denser, harder polish, a higher concentration of those hard waxes. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate this in two ways. One, just look at how I can really push my finger into this. It's really not hard at all because the Pat Deluxe is a relatively wet wax polish. But when compared to the mirror gloss, this is very hard. You can see that it takes a significant amount of effort to break that up. And that's because of that high concentration of those very hard waxes. That's a really uh, absolutely beautiful polish. So I'm gonna scrape some of this on my finger, put that right here, and then we're gonna spread that on here. Now the foundation of any mirror gloss are those hard waxes, and so you need to build that up to smooth out the leather. You can see it still has a solvent in there. It's penetrating a little bit, not as much as either of those right here. And I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but it's quite thick. So we'll let that dry, and then I'll show that to you in a second. Next, let's take a look at the black mirror gloss. Again, as we go up in concentration of hard waxes, uh, the wax is able to carry less pigment. So you'll see that this black mirror gloss has even less pigment in it than the black Pat Deluxe. But again, it has a higher concentration of hard waxes. So whenever it comes to the wax concentration of waxes versus cream polish, it really comes down to the hardness really more than anything. Now, cream polishes have softer waxes. Now what does that mean in the shine process? It means that you can apply the cream polish to the entire shoe. It's gonna build up some of those soft waxes, give it a nice soft shine, but you don't have to worry about the waxes cracking. With a hard wax polish like the Pat Deluxe and especially the Mirror Gloss, if you were to apply it across this vamp uh, in too great of a concentration, once it dries, it's gonna be very hard, and then you're going to go to walk, it's gonna flex the shoe, and all those waxes are gonna crack, leaving a white residue. So in shining your shoes, I recommend, of course, you know, one or two generous applications of a cream polish to rehydrate, to nourish, and to reestablish that pigment concentration. Uh, but normally not more than just uh, one to two coats is really needed. And then maybe one coat of the Pat Deluxe to the entire shoe. Again, that's gonna elevate the shine of the entire shoe, provide a little bit of protection. But again, it's not too high of a concentration of waxes that you have to worry about it cracking right here across the vamp. But then whenever it comes to the mirror gloss, I strictly recommend only applying it to the areas that are hard countered. That means that they have a piece of stiff leather in between the upper and the lining so that the leather doesn't flex. And that is on the toe cap and really the rear quarter. These are the areas that you traditionally build that really high gloss shine. Uh, so there we are. A few questions that you guys have asked on some of our other videos I just wanted to get to here. And this is, will a cream polish provide the same le level of water resistance as a wax polish? The answer is no, because it doesn't have that high concentration of those hard waxes that you get in a wax polish. Now, important disclaimer, you can apply a coat of the Pat Deluxe to the entire shoe. It'll provide a little bit of soft waterproofing, but if you really need serious waterproofing, I recommend the Saphir Super Invulner. Uh, that is an aerosol a waterproofing agent that is safe to use on even the highest quality shoes, and you can use it on smooth calfskin in addition to suede and textiles. So if you're looking for waterproofing, I would recommend a product like this Saphir Super Invulner. Next question is that do I need to remove those wax polishes before I nourish my uh, shoes the next time I shine them with a cream polish? Now the short answer to that is really no. Uh, you know, here on the majority of the shoe, those hard waxes are gonna kind of wear down a little bit by the time that you apply your cream polish next. 
Also, the solvents in that cream polish will help soften those waxes so that the polish is able to really uh, penetrate that leather to deliver those nutrients. Now, whenever it comes to the toe cap and the heel, it is a good idea every once in a while to kind of remove all those hard waxes to strip it back down to just the, the leather uh, without any of those waxes on top. You can use that with the hair dryer. You can use it with the Saphir Reno Mat. We've got plenty of videos on this channel on how to do that, uh, but it really isn't largely that necessary and not something that I would do frequently because of the amount of time that's required to then rebuild uh, that shine. Now, the next question we get is how long will these polishes last? Uh, and really, the most important thing is preventing your cream polish uh, from drying out. Now, it's important to keep the lid well sealed to prevent any unnecessary airflow. So keep it very tightly sealed. You can put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, you know, that's the most important thing you can do. Uh, these new twist cap tins seal much better than the old twist ones because air could get in through the side. So again, the most important thing is to just keep them well sealed. It'll prevent those solvents from evaporating and the waxes from becoming progressively dry. Now, a product like the Saphir Mirror Gloss will ultimately dry out and crack a little bit. That's totally fine. You can fix that by just taking your chamois and kind of pressing it back into the tin. It's really not a problem. Uh, and if your Pat Deluxe uh, dries out, then congratulations, you've created a tin of the Mirror Gloss and you can still use it for that mirror shine process. Not something that I would particularly worry about. So there we go, waxes versus cream polish. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, if not, make sure you check out my video on how to create the perfect mirror shine. You can really learn how to use all these wax polishes to create what is the holy grail of a shoe shine, and that is a beautiful mirror gloss. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.